Okay, in this short video, I'm going to be going over the solutions for lesson number seven, artist loops. So as we look at the first one here, you can see that your goal is to draw the robot's head. So you're going to repeat the same thing four times by moving forward 100 pixels and turning right by 90 degrees. Okay, and number two, your goal here is to do the same thing, but this time you can only use one move forward block and one turn block at this time. So you can use the repeat to solve the puzzle. So what we did was we repeated four times, moving forward and turning right. Number three. Try to figure out what happens if you run this code. Next, repeat the code enough times to complete the drawing. So we ran a code and it went through one line. And the next time I did it was I set the color to random and then I repeated eight times because there were eight lines to move forward 100 pixels, move backward 100 pixels, and then turn by 45 degrees. And then repeat that. And by the time you're done, you complete it. Number four. Number four, when you run, you're going to repeat 375 times, set the color to random, move forward 100 pixels, pixels, back 100 pixels, and then turn right by one degree. This is what it looks like. Number five. Number five says to give the stop sign a border by making an octagon with 100 pixel sides. So there's eight sides to a stop sign. I'm going to repeat it eight times. I set the color and I'm going to move forward 100 pixels and turn right by 45 degrees since these angles are all 45 degrees. Here's what it looks like. Number six. Number six says to create a circle to finish the eyeball. Well, if I'm going to do a repeat block and move forward by one pixel and turn right by one degrees, we know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. So I'm going to repeat it 360 times. And when I'm done, this is what it looks like. Number seven, draw a simple V to complete the arrow. Both sides of the V are 50 pixels. So I'm going to set the color. I'm going to turn right by 45 degrees to set my, my pencil straight. And then I'm going to move forward 50 pixels, turn left by 90 degrees since the tip is 90 degrees. And then I'm going to move forward another 50 pixels. Here's what it looks like. Number eight. Number eight says, let's connect a bunch of V's together in a loop. So there were eight times that I had to do the same process over again. So I'm going to use the repeat block for eight times. I'm going to turn right by 45 degrees to set my pencil straight, move forward by 50 pixels, turn left at 90 degrees to get through my V, and then I'm going to move forward by 50 pixels to get through the straight line. So here's what it looks like. Number nine, so here it says to rebuild the code from the last puzzle, but this time add a left turn of 30 degrees inside the loop. Now repeat it 24 times instead of eight times. So I have a repeat block for 24 times. Again, using the same one from the last challenge at number eight, I am now going to add a left turn at 30 degrees, which is at the bottom here. And here's what it ends up looking like. Number 10, draw a diamond with sides of 100 pixels. 
So basically, you're going to have to figure the angles out. Okay, the left turn by 60 degrees. Turn, move forward by 100 pixels. Right turn by 120. Forward by 100. Turn right by 60 degrees. Forward by 100 pixels. Turn right by 120 degrees and forward by 100 pixels. Here's what it ends up looking like. Number 11. We're going to start you with some code to make the diamond. So loop the gray code to create a fun pattern. And this ends up being like an isometric cube when you're done. You have a repeat block of three times because there's three surfaces to this block that you see. So I'm going to set a random color and then turn left by 60 degrees, forward by 100 pixels, right by 120, forward by 100, right by 60, forward by 100, right by 120, and forward by 100. Number 12. Try changing how many degrees you turn and how many times you loop. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to figure out the number of loops we need, which is going to be 10, and then you're going to set the color to random and follow this code here by turning and moving in order to get through this shape here. Here's what it will look like. Number 13, draw anything you like. So I made a pattern and I just added some motions in there and turns. So here's what it looks like. Okay, then I had to do the matching for number 14. Here's the correct solutions for each one. And the next one here. The correct solution was here. It's already selected. And last but not least, number 16, I chose this one here because I knew my turns were 60 degrees. And that's about it.